What's going on guys, Vulcan here, and today I have a super quick video for you guys on Outriders World Slayer. So some of you might remember that back when Outriders was first launching, they were having these legendary weapon and armor weeks ahead of launch. Now these showcase the legendary items and their effects, and this was really nice. Players liked it because you could see, oh, that's a weapon I definitely want to go after, or that's one I want to avoid, or that's the set that I want to build around. Well, Outriders is back at it again with World Slayer. So this week kicks off a new set of legendary weapons to check out, starting with today's entry, Deathscape. Now, Deathscape is a legendary assault rifle that's going to fit perfectly with those toxic Technomancers or really anyone who loves chain explosions. So Deathscape is fully automatic and it does inflict toxic status onto enemies and apply a five second mark on enemies. So if you kill something with the mark, it's going to explode and it's going to deal damage to everything around it. But it'll also apply that same mark to nearby enemies, which then restarts the whole process. So right now I'm thinking of lots of different ways you can take advantage of this, but the easiest way to me is through blighted rounds for the techno. Here, you can blow stuff up quickly through your, your Blighted Rounds buff, and then you're going to gain additional damage and explosions through Deathscape. Or if you're someone who doesn't really like the Technomancer playstyle or managing Blighted Rounds, this almost gives you a limited version of Blighted Rounds. It's gonna inflict toxic to deal damage. It's gonna apply a mark to enemies that'll then cause them to explode and then propagate that mark. So it really kind of gives you a taste of what toxic Technomancers or Blighted Rounds Technomancers have been using over the past year. But honestly, any high burst build should work. You only have five seconds to kill the marked enemy. So let's say you are running like an AOE Devastator or an AOE uh, Pyro. You could throw a few rounds into the enemy, afflict them with Toxic, and then use a skill to kill them and then spread the mark. So like I said, big AOE, high burst damage build should be able to take full advantage of Deathscape. But this is not the only thing that we saw in this very, very quick clip. I'm pretty sure this is also a new legendary set of gear that they're wearing as well. This kind of pharaoh looking headpiece, it's super unique, and I feel like I definitely would have remembered it if it was in the base game. So we should get more info on this one for Legendary Armor Week, but honestly, we'll just have to wait and see. So folks, that is it for today, but we will be back with more, and then I'll have a complete roundup of all the legendary weapons towards the end of the week once it's all done. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think so far about this first look at legendary weapons coming with World Slayer? Is this something that you like? Is this something that you think you, you want to avoid? Would you like to see them do something a little bit different? I wanna hear from you guys, so let's get to talking in the comment section below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you next time.